I have you on like a little tripod and it's not very stable, but anyways, as you can tell, I have no makeup on and I'm at my desk, which my makeup mirror is right here. So if I look off to the side like this, I'm sorry. It's just, I can't really like move you in front of me because my makeup mirror is kind of big. I have to find a way to do that. If it was against the wall, I could like, like suction cup you to it, but it's, let me show you. It's one of these. So, and yeah, I have my selfie light too on top of it to give me more light for you guys. So today we are going to do some fun makeup. Not like exotic fun, but just fun for the eyes. I'm going to be doing candy corn colored eyes on my eyelids today. And I felt like I needed to share it because it's very festive. And I'm very festive because I am wearing Halloween leggings. So I can't put my leg up that far, I'm sorry. And I'm going into my drama makeup class today, so I think it'd just be fun. So hope you enjoy. I will try my best to tell you what I'm using and I will show you the, you know, the stuff and how it goes. I might be fast forwarding on some of this stuff because it may be a long video and this is already a minute and 30 seconds long to me explaining to you guys, so let's get to it. I didn't record this part like I should, but I put my hair kind of up and sorry if I moved you. Here we go. First stop, we are going to put NYX primer. This is the best, cheapest um, pigment primer you could ever get. That's really cheap. So let's put that on our eyes. I might fast forward through you guys too. Stars are night sky shine like they're silver and gold. Now for the white. I'm going to be using this brush and by that brand, JAF, really good brand, it's vegan. So I'm going to go use this palette. I'm going to go use the Frosted Apricot, which you can tell I already use a lot. And I'll put it on the inner corner of my eyelids. Oops, sorry, I moved you. And you are what I am, and I am what you are. And you are what I am, and I am what you are. So, to my white inner corner, I will clean this up, I promise. Next color is the yellow. I'll be using this brush, same brand. And I'll be going into this palette. Take me back to Brazil by BH Cosmetics. And I will be using this yellow. And I'll be putting it in the middle of my eyelid. Like that. So there's the yellow. Now, you gotta blend the white and yellow together though onto the other eye. So there's the white and yellow. Now, the orange, same this, you can tell I already put orange on here because I was testing it out. We are going in through this orange, same palette. Then we're just gonna pat it on like that. Now onto the next eye. As you can tell I'm a lefty and it's a little hard to do. Okay, with how dark this orange is, I think I'm gonna go in to a brighter yellow. I'm gonna put this yellow right here on top to kind of give it some color. Better! So now I gotta clean this up and do like the nude top and all that. So we're gonna fast forward through that so that way you can see how nice it looks. Okay, clean that all up and now time to finish the eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using this fluffy brush. I'm pretty sure it's not for your eyelids, but I use it for in my eyelids. same brand. I'm gonna go in to this palette again, and I'm gonna do Banana Date first, which is right here. I'm 
I know everyone's gonna critique me, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna go into Exotica. I think that's how you pronounce it, right there. It's almost. Read me like a magazine. And that's it for the eyeshadow. Next is eyeliner, which I am not a pro at, but the eyeliner we will be using today is these two. I need a new one. This one's by Ramel and it's their nude. I put on my waterline and then I'm using Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen Waterproof. And that's how thin it looks. Not a pro, but let's do this. I'm gonna fast forward. So I learned it this year that it looks better. So I'm gonna go over there and put it on. Waterline done. Now time for the hard part, which I can't do this on camera. It's hard, I'm sorry guys. So there's one eyelid. That's what it looks like. It's not that straight, but yeah, there's one eyelid. Now to the next one. Eyeliner done, and that's what they look like. Next is primer, and this stuff is really good. I wanted a cheap primer. I don't usually use a lot of e.l.f., but I do use e.l.f. primer a lot. I love it. Um, it's the Hydrating Face Primer. We're gonna put that on our face. Next is my favorite part, which you can't really tell the difference, but I can. I don't know if you can on here. But I've been using the Tarte BB Cream. I love BB Cream, and this is almost like a foundation BB Cream, which is, it's really good. It's Amazon Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. It has FPF 20 sunscreen in it, and it's in the shade Light. And this is my beauty sponge. I use, it's a liquid foundation, but I use it for marks on my face. It's by Advanced Real Moisture. 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 And I have a red mark right here, so I cover that up. And then I just put tiny little dots right here, cause I get really red here. I don't want to put it all over my face. I just need a little bit of coverage. Next is, I'm using another cheap store-bought brand, and it's really good. It's by CoverGirl, and it's Clean Make Concealer. I'm almost out. I need a new one soon. I don't mind using store-bought brands. If it was up to me, though, I'd buy, like, Ulta brands, but this is pretty good. When you're broke, sometimes it works. I used this part of my sponge, and I just... rub at the end for it because it blends it better but I make sure I like dab it okay so that's done no more cream now time for setting powder I do my setting powder different by the way Okay, so setting powder I am using is by Airspun Loose Face Powder Original Formula, and it's in the shade Naturally Natural. Yeah, it's in the shade Naturally Natural. And I just use like this kind of sponge. And then I stick it under my eye. It's four in the morning, and you're on with Eleni. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll take this time to get... Ugh, ignore me. Then I put it on my T-zone right here. Because I get shiny right there. And then I put it on that red mark. Just to set it in. And I'll do the other side so it looks even. So it looks like this. And 
I'm gonna let it sit actually and I'll get back to you and show you how I take it off. Hey guys, I'm back. Now that I let this actually sit, like I said I wasn't going to, but I decided to let it bake. I'm gonna go in with this brush. This is a powder brush, but I use it just to take off this, which I'm pretty sure most people do, but. And I rub it all the way up here too, whatever excess is on the brush, because you never know. You just never know. Plus, it makes it a little bit more setting. There we go. Next is mascara, which I use too. I use a store bought one, and then I use a makeup store brand. So, this is PUR fully charged. I put this on first, strap size. Then I put this Instant Lash NYC mascara on after and it kind of just helps it. So let's put this on and I will show you what it looks like. So let's fast forward through this. different I actually like my mascara like this it's like my everyday sometimes I'll change like I'll still use this but I'll change this out to something else but lately this is like my everyday mascara Bring your best flowers. Meet me in an hour. My heart is beating louder and louder if we dance and there you go that's my mascara Chapstick. By the way, I wear a lot of chapstick. I like a lot. Okay, next is highlighter. I'm going to be going in with my all-time favorite, even though Jeffree Star is at my all-time everyday favorite right now because I just bought it not long ago, so I've been using it a lot. Um, this is what I bought a long time ago, and it's still in good shape. It's by Becca, and it's in the shade Pearl. So let me show you what it looks like. You can tell I use this a lot, and I bought this like a few years ago. So yeah, I mean, maybe like two years ago. But a little of this goes a long way, so yeah, I'm gonna use the pro. And I'm gonna go in, not with a heavy, I'm gonna go in with the simple, small, flat end brush. And I'm gonna... I need you up daily. You are my safety. And then my nose, I just dab it on it, and then I use my middle finger and I brush it. And now all I have to do is set my face and I will show you. I am using Hard Candy. Um, this is as close as the um, something night all nighter. By Urban Decay, um, you guys might know what I'm talking about. I used to use that a lot and I still do sometimes, but lately just to save money at the moment, I bought the hard candy, it was only six bucks, and they say that this is the closest one to the all-nighter setting spray, that's what it's called, okay. Okay, oh, it's all over me now. I'm gonna bring you guys closer to me. I almost forgot, I need a little color on my lips. So I'm gonna go in with apricot. Why is apricot like all these fruit names lately? Okay, by Bart's Bees, it's the lip shimmer. I'm gonna put this on my lips just to give it a little color. I love Bart's Bees. Okay, now I'm gonna put you up closer. So this is the finishing touch. This is my my candy corn eye makeup slash everyday makeup the only thing that's different is that i put color in my eyelids and everything else i do every day so hope you guys enjoyed it but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video sorry it wasn't much i promise i'll get better at it and maybe in better view so you guys could see everything and i hope you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you later bye I'm loving it, I'm loving it